Hello again. This is Andrew Dudich, 4980 WITY at Gordyville, and this is the home of the Midwest Ag Expo. I'm with Gary Menke today. Tell us your organization and a little bit about what you do for this show. Good afternoon. Uh, we are called now the Midwest uh, Southeastern Equipment Dealers Association. Uh, 22 years ago when we were underneath Midwest Equipment Dealers Association, we started uh, close to what is known now as the Midwest Ag Expo. Uh, I'm also the show manager uh, when, I, when the show comes on every year at the end of January. Uh, again, this year we bring into the Champaign-Urbana area uh, basically about 180 exhibitors and 144,000 feet of exhibit space, uh, representing about 480 products. And uh, we're sold out again this year for the show. And we're looking forward to another great show as we uh, next couple of days here. It's always a very large show where farmers can kind of come in and see what's going on in the industry, new products and things. What are some of the things that people can kind of look forward to this year? Well, if you are in the agriculture industry, it has anything you want to do and that you're looking for. I mean, you can find the tractors, the combines, the tillage equipment, and then you get into the financial side, you get into the GPS units, you get into outdoor power equipment, you get into trucks, you get into trailers. So it's a whole package. I mean, everything it takes here that you use on the agricultural uh, production area, it's a great place to come in the start of 2016, see what's new out there, and a lot of the products that you see here are probably travel straight from here down to the National Farming Union show in Louisville. And so that way if you have questions on a new product or financial crop insurance questions, whatever it is, you can come here and kind of get those answers and compare all in one easy place instead of having to travel all around your community. That's correct. I mean, you know, a lot of people spend more time on the internet these days really researching products and looking it out and seeing what should I do and reading uh, the goods, the plus and minuses of those products. But as they do that, they also this year and in the previous years, a lot of them come right to this show and they can get the information firsthand. They can talk to company reps or dealers ships, personnel, or anybody who's manning these booths, and they can get the one-on-one -on -one questions that they can get off the internet at that time. And to talk a little bit more about your organization, uh, there was a bit of a name change from what we're used to. What does that mean for the Equipment Dealers Association? Well, basically, I mean, just like uh, all industries in the agricultural business, uh, we were representing uh, for the last uh, 22, or basically since 1990, uh, the Midwest Equipment Dealers Association, which was a two-state organization. And as opportunities knock, I mean, we took on and merged with what is was known as the Southeastern Equipment Dealers Association, which had uh, 12 states in that. So now with our two, and of course the two we had, uh, those 12, we now represent a 14 state area, basically all the way from here over to the North Carolina, South Carolina area, West Virginia, and in that swath that we go through that territory. My job changes a little bit that will represent dealers not only in the two states we were before, but we'll also represent dealers in those areas all the way, anything it takes to run their place of business, from legislative arena to uh, anything that has to do with their products that they represent. And having a larger representative area, that should also give you a little more power if you're trying to help, whether it's you know lobbying or whatever your services might be, having more people to pull from, I would think would be beneficial. Uh, that's correct. I mean, that's one of the driving forces as we did it. I mean, we, you know, representing a two-state area, we're still pretty good in size, but by doing this, we now will be the third largest organization in the United States when it comes to uh, equipment dealers throughout the, uh, in the United States. And people can come here for a lot more than equipment. We were talking about there's the financial aspect. We have antique tractors here if you'd like to do that. So a little bit of everything for everybody. That's correct. I mean, I can't, you know, it's so hard to, when you got 180 exhibitors representing 480 different products, I mean, you know, we have a lot to offer here. I mean, drones are here again, uh, first time this year, which we, you know, which is a lot of people have an interest in what's out there. Uh, from that arena and I think one of the biggest things is like I said I can't stress enough is that when it comes to what's going on on the farm as we call it I mean you come here and you're going to get your answers and you'll be able to get a lot of information and take back home to really make good intelligent informed decisions for throughout 2016.
And if somebody hasn't been to the Gordyville area before for this facility, it's all indoors, it's heated, um, you know, you're not going to get all the wind and cold, there's free parking, there's lots of area for people to be able to walk around and experience this. That's correct, and I mentioned earlier, that, you know, it's like 144,000 exhibit space, and it's all on one level. You mentioned it's free parking. Yeah, you can walk, it's all one area where you just roam throughout the whole day, and I know and I've seen people in here before where they spend Wednesday and I see some of them come back on Thursday because it's a lot to cover, and I think there's also concessions on the on the grounds that you can get. Uh, there will be, you know, people again s stressing going back to the education part of it. I mean, there's a lot of really information here that people can get from this show. And what are your hours for the rest of Wednesday and then Thursday? Uh, Wednesday we're open from 8:30 in the morning to 4:30 in the afternoon, and on Thursday we're open from 8:30 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So there should be plenty of time for people to be able to get around, see the different options, ask questions, and be able to see some of the real life products that they might not be able to do well online. That's correct and I think you know as I keep you know as we always saying goes I've been doing this since the show started 23 years ago and it's a great place to come kick a few tires and meet old friends and acquaintances and kind of see people that maybe you kind of haven't seen in a while and also a good way to get out of the house for a couple of hours during the day. Well, it sounds great. Thank you for joining us today to talk a little bit about the show. And then also thank you very much for watching the video. Please come out here if you need to talk with uh, Gary or anybody else representing Equipment Association. They're right in the middle of the show arena. There's a kind of dividing doors all the way to the west side. If you're looking for Gordyville, haven't been here before. If you're coming from the Champaign-Urbana area, go north on 57. Get off at Rantoul, head east on 136, about six miles or so east of Rantoul and you'll find Gordyville. You can also come in by 74, head up towards the Pinfield Royal Ogden exit, and then again hit 136, go to the west that time. Um, Gordyville is just by Gifford, in between Gifford and Rantoul. You won't be able to miss it. Plenty of parking, heated, lots of vendors. Please come and see us. This has been Andrew Dudes for 980 WITY.